Basically, let me let me talk about my policies. My policies are you come washed and blow dried before your hair your hair appointment. Like, I'm sorry. I work from home, right? I don't have the pri privilege of having like a whole shampoo bowl or whatever in my home to wash people's hair. So of course I'm going to tell you to bring, I mean to have your hair wash and blow dry before you come. Some braiders want your hair to be flat ironed. Okay, maybe that's a little extra, but for them, that's what they want. I don't understand why people gotta go in so hard on new new school braiders just because they don't do the same thing that old school braiders do. And it's like, we not all gonna do the same thing. Like, we're new school braiders. Like, we do shit different. I come with your hair washed and blow dried for me. Like even that sometimes is a task for people like people be having their hair washed a week before like come on you know you can't have your hair washed a week before your hair is going to you're gonna sweat you're gonna have a whole bunch of dandruff your hair is gonna get your scalp is gonna get dry you know you're not gonna grease it and even if you do grease it that's a product buildup and it's like come on Okay, so back to what I was saying. This is really a question. People that love old school braiders so much, right? Why do y'all go to new school braiders to get your hair done if you don't like their policies? And don't get me wrong, like, I understand there are some new school braiders that their braids ain't all of that. I get that. And they be asking for the most. But please, cut some slack on the braider, the new school braiders that actually know what the hell they're doing. Excuse me. Please cut, cut some slack on the new school braiders that actually know what they're doing. And they have policies like, we know what we're doing. We don't got time for all the extraness. Please come how we want you to come so we can get you out in time. I know some people just look at us as braiders, but this is our business and we have policies for our business. And all we do is ask you to respect them. And if you can't respect them, please do not come to us. And it's simple, it's really as simple as that. Be easy on the on the new school, on the new school braiders, please. Especially the ones that actually know what they're doing. If it wasn't for the old school braiders, us new school braiders would not be here. We needed our old school braiders to get to where we at. Here is where I package, I mean, organize all of my hair. Um, I got products at the bottom. Ooh, whole bunch of stuff. Some products that I'm trying out, some products that were sent to me. Just, you know, a whole bunch of products. My hair oil. So 
So basically I'm gonna take all, I'm gonna take these three drawers out and show you guys how I organize all my hair. This is the way that I organize all my hair. I take it out all of the packaging because the day of is just too much packaging and garbage. So I like to get all of that out of the way the first day that I buy all of my hair. So I put all of the 1B in one drawer. This drawer has, this bag has um, ombre hair in it. This is 30, this is number four, this is 27. Like you can see everything that I have in here, silver, this right here is all my burgundy hair, my blues and greens. I have all my blondes in there, pinks. I have my orange and yellows in here. Like everything is super organized. That way day of, I just go in my drawer, pick out the color. I don't need to take out all the packaging and get rid of that. Everything is already out of the packaging. Now all I do is prep it on my wall over there. I bought four of these little drawers and glued them together. And boom, I use these for my little clips and my scrunchies. Oh, I got thread in there. My remotes, more hair. Tie. Down here is pretty much the products that I use. Edge control, neat braid, my favorite. Of course, another bottle down there. This is almost, I use this like a tangler. Mousse, finishing spray. And down here, I just keep my rods and then I keep my container for my combs, for my used combs, and I put them all under there. And that is my cards. to stop while I'm doing my client's hair to part out more hair really takes out a lot of time and with the spool racks it really allows me to part out a full head without stopping definitely one of my best investments <laughs> Thank you. 
Thank you.